Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Today is Wednesday, June 26th. And today is also the Wednesday after the fifth Sunday after Pentecost. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Well, that today you would hearken to his voice. Psalm 101, found on page 730 in the Book of Common Prayer. I will sing of mercy and justice to you, O Lord, will I sing praises. I will strive to follow a blameless course. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with sincerity of heart within my house. I will set no worthless thing before my eyes. I hate the doers of evil deeds. They shall not remain with me. A crooked heart shall be far from me. I will not know evil. Those who in secret slander their neighbors, I will destroy. Those who have a haughty look and a proud heart, I cannot abide. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land that they may dwell with me. And only those who lead a blameless life shall be my servants. Those who act deceitfully shall not dwell in my house. And those who tell lies shall not continue in my sight. I will soon destroy all the wicked in the land that I may root out all evildoers from the city of the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Tell Eleazar, as son of Aaron, the priest, to take the censers out of the blaze, then scatter the fire far and wide, for the censers of those sinners have become holy at the cost of their lives. Make them into hammered plates as a covering for the altar, for they presented them before the Lord, and they became holy. Thus they shall be assigned to the Israelites, so is Eleazar, the priest took the bronze censers that had been presented by those who were burned, and they were hammered out as a covering for the altar. A reminder to the Israelites that no outsider who is not of the descendants of Aaron shall approach to offer incense before the Lord, so as not to become like Korah and his company, just as the Lord had said to him through Moses. On the next day, however, the whole congregation of the Israelites rebelled against Moses and against Aaron, saying, You have killed the people of the Lord. And when the congregation had assembled against them, Moses and Aaron turned toward the tent of meeting. The cloud had covered it, and the glory of the Lord appeared. Then Moses and Aaron came to the front of the tent of meeting, and the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Get away from the congregation, so that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell on their faces. Moses said to Aaron, take your censer, put fire on it from the altar and lay incense on it and carry it quickly to the congregation and make atonement for them. For wrath has gone out from the Lord. The plague has begun. So Aaron took it as Moses had ordered and ran into the middle of the assembly where the plague had already begun among the people. He put on the incense and made atonement for the people. He stood between the dead and the living, and the plague was stopped. Those who died by the plague were 14,700, besides those who died in the affair of Quran. And when the plague was stopped, 
Aaron returned to Moses at the entrance of the tent of meeting. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, and deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open by day or they I'm sorry, by day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day, by night. You will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into the vineyard. And when he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You also go into the vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. And when he went out again about noon or about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock, he went out and found others standing around. And he said to them, why are you standing here idle all day? And they said to him, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard. And when evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. And when those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now, when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us and have borne the burden of who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. And he replied to one of them, Friend, I'm doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people to set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of, the, of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in ju to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. 
and grant us your salvation. <clears throat> Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give grace, give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your Son, your blessed Son, to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining.